Hi, I'm Ralph Lewis from California, and I'm here to show you just a practical field demonstration of this wonderful Shaw backpack drill. Before we get started, let me show you some of the parts so you get an idea how the system's put together. Here we have the basic components of the Shaw backpack drill system. Uh, Tanaka two-cycle engine. The water swivel is attached at the moment. We have a gear modified um, uh, transmission here to give us the RPMs we need for the, the, the core drilling. And typically you'll need a lead. That's this piece of stainless steel. And that's what one of the three bits that come with the, the system screw into. These are diamond impregnated bits with water slots in the sides. You can get uh, different numbers of water slots depending on the softness or the hardness of the material. Here we have one for, for drilling through quartz. actually has no slots. It's very slow drilling because the quartz is hard. And here's one with eight slots. Like if you're going through maybe a mudstone or something. Something really soft. Here's the bit that uh, we're going to be using for drilling later. It's a two slot diamond impregnated bit. It fits on a quick and easy to use bayonet system. Two O-rings to seal the water in because the water is actually pumped down through the stem to the, to the core barrel. What the Shaw backpack drill folks have done is include a pressurized water system that uh, drives the water through this rotating water swivel very much like what you find in professional um, diamond drilling arrangements, only this is lighter, more portable, and affordable. For ease of portability, the, the water uh, delivery system is able to be connected and disconnected really fast and easy. You just push down on this white flange, insert your hose, and it grabs it. It's ready to go right now. It's just that easy. This accessory is um, an auger for uh, getting through overburden. Uh, it's got a long open slot here to, to, to get soils and whatnot out. But you use that to you know just drill on down through um, compacted uh, surface material until you get to solid rock. This component is a core catcher. There's a, actually a, a little finger in here. Right there. There's a little finger in here that, that presses in, and when it slips over the core, it catches it and you can retrieve it out of the hole. It works especially good in ravelly ground where you've got little chips and, and uh, you know, pieces of core that are broken up. And this little extension handle, the T handle, uh, is what you use with that core retriever to work it past any of the, the broken chips to, to get the maximum amount of core removed before you start drilling again. All of what you see here fits pretty handily in this uh, really well-made, rugged, comfortable backpack. I highly recommend it. And you'll see me outfitted with it here in just a moment. But um, basically the, the cores fit inside the, the sides here if you need that many extensions and um, the water tank fits in the back portion here it does fit the engine goes in the main body of the pack and with whatever accessories you want you know the your fuel or instruction manual and here we are all packed and ready to go Everything that you saw that was demonstrated uh, earlier as far as the components is in, in the pack. Now that you've seen all the parts, let's put it together and see what it looks like in action. One thing people overlook easily is using ear protection and eye protection. You are throwing little bits of water and grit around, so it's a good idea. It's, uh, it's cheap insurance. Just get some of these little squishy plugs. That is, if, if you want to be, have your hearing when you're 60 or older. <laughs> Actually, compared to other equipment I've used, this is quiet. But still, it's a good, a good precaution. I always put the, the water swivel down on, on my boot or something that's not gritty. 
just to keep it clean. But right now we'll hook up the water system. It's a it's a very simple uh, quick disconnect. Now we'll hook up our our core tube with our diamond bit already attached. This one has two water slots in the sides. We'll just take this handy dandy bayonet mount, lock her on there and it's that simple. When you get the engine started you'll see we've got a, a real easy throttle control here. The butterfly handles are, make it easy to balance and um, I want to show you uh, the critical part as far as starting these, which is to keep the to keep the bit at a slight angle, and then you rock it up to a vertical position before you get very deep into the rock. But you want to you want to give yourself an anchor point, and the easiest way to do that is to just catch it under the arch of your boot here, and then as she's as she's biting into the rock, you slowly work it up to to vertical. Over on the side here, which is easy to get at, there's actually a, a little water valve that controls the flow. The thing you want to do is not burn the dynamin bit. You don't want it to, to get dry because it will heat up and damage the bit. Uh, but if you keep your water flow, uh, just so your cuttings are coming out as like a buttermilk consistency, uh, you'll be fine. This is what I'm going to start out at. This is, uh, this is plenty of water. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm just going to check the core barrel. It looks like we have some material in there. And the bayonet connection is just the cat's meow. There's a nice long piece of core. I'm going to try to extract some of the core that's still down in the bottom of the hole. And for that, we use this nice little stainless steel T handle. Fits on quick and easy with the bayonet connection, just using a regular two foot drill extension. And because I'm tall, I'll use two of them. There's a little uh, uh, cam lever here that actually pinches onto the, the core to allow you to retrieve it once you get over it. Okay, so we've got a little bit of core in, in the hole, and I'm using this uh, uh, core puller to just gently lift it out. Hopefully we've grabbed it. Yep, there it is. On our little finger here, uh, it's bent in, has caught it, and you just dump her out like so. And there you have it, four feet of core in about just a little bit over 15 minutes. Nothing could be simpler. And just to prove it is four feet, seeing is believing.